And from that story, we go to Check Me Out, a weekly showcase of Nigerian street Christians home and abroad. Uh, this week, we check out G.D. Martin, an illustrator and entrepreneur passionate about showcasing the beauty of African stories through art and comic characters. Let's check him out. My philosophy of life is the things you do when people aren't watching are the things you do when it matters most. Hi guys, I'm Jude Martin. I'm a creator and an illustrator. And it's your time to check me out. My mom used to take me to Lupaju supermarket to buy me comics just so that I could sit at home. To our dismay, I grew to like comics and that was all I wanted to do. I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't sleep, I would spend the whole day drawing and fantasizing on characters, icons. And that led me to being a creator. Studied law at Obafemi Awolowo University. People that I met and my experiences in law school really helped shape me to be able to be, or to be able to create the business of telling stories. I kept seeing negative stuff on TV. Most of what was interesting for them was the negative Nigeria. And I thought it was time for us to change that narrative because every single time I spoke to my friends and I said, I wanted to be like Superman or Batman. The response I got was, you can never be like them because they're not like us. So I thought, okay, I needed to provide examples for people. And I started drawing comics of heroes and icons that looked like us. Who else would tell our story better than us? And then why don't I do use what I'm passionate about? And even as I speak, I, I remember the emotions that came upon me then. You know, just to tell the world who we really are. Let the world come and see that we're amazing people, you know, and that we have great capacity. And I wanted to inspire my friends and create icons, not just for me, but for the generation to come. The same way you see a lot of kids being influenced by Western icons, the likes of Superman, Batman, is the same way I want um, kids around the world to also want to be influenced by our characters like Ajay, Ireti, you know, and Shongo. I want you, even people like actors, you know, to make million dollar movies and to be paid greatly because they're Nigerians and only a Nigerian can act a Nigerian character, even if it's a Hollywood movie. With telling African stories, I wanted it to be authentic. We also need to prove a point that, despite all of the economic hardships that Nigeria faces, I needed to show the world that we were resilient. We were the heroes that we were creating. There were events where we called anyone who was interested in comic books or in the creative space to join us. And we had seminars where we started teaching people, and that's how we started. And, you know, we started from having 3,000 people in attendance and it grew to about 15,000 people. And from there, we started an internship program where from the event, we recruited people. But after that, you know, anybody that showed interest, we pulled them in for an internship program where we taught them how to color or how to draw or how to tell stories. We have empowered them with, you know, skills that they can, skills that they can use to make themselves better, their families better. And hence, I dare say, you know, um, export these skills, which eventually will turn and help the GDP of the country as a whole. Hi, I'm GD Martin. I'm an illustrator, I'm a creator, and you have checked me out. Well done, GD, keep the flag flying. Let's now remind you of our top story. We told you what you must do on Saturday to make your vote count. And that has been our package on this episode. The conversation ends here now, but continue to Twitter handle at Just Nigeria TV. Let's hear from you. You can also check out more content from us at bbc.com forward slash Africa and channels tv.com. Until next time, I am Wale Fakile. Bye for now.